This conference will now be recorded. Another rate study. Yes, another rate study. study. So not a rate, necessarily. It's been one. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Since we asked for the race, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I can be notice. Please. Please take notice that the Lake Placid Village Board will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, February 21st, 2023, in person at North Elva Town Hall, 2693 Main Street, first floor, Lake Placid, New York, and by a go to meeting at 4 45 p.m. concerning proposed revisions to the Lake Placid Village electric rates. Take further notice that said proposed revision of rates for electric services provided to customers of the Village of Lake Placid, New York, for the purpose of making necessary revisions to the electric rates for residential and commercial users for the Municipal Village of Lake Placid Electric Department. You may join the meeting in person or via go to meeting. A link will be provided by end of day Friday prior to the meeting. It will be the same link as for that day's board meeting. All interested persons are invited and will be given an opportunity to be heard. The proposed revised schedule of rates will be posted on the village website and available for inspection, including supporting calculations at the village clerk's office during regular business hours. Signed, Anita Anthony Esling, village clerk. Okay, this uh, public hearing is open. Will anyone have any comment? There's one person in person. Do you have any comment? I usually take the in, in uh, person, people first. So first, all right, here we go. And can you state your name, please? Yes, my name is Scott Philip Lewis. I'm a resident here at Lake Placid. Became familiar with the village when I attended National Sports Academy back in 2009. Built Syracuse, New York. Did a postgraduate year over there. Lived right over in this house over there. Uh, went to Western New England University after in Springfield, Massachusetts. Majored in finance. Uh, I had a minor in enterprise resource solutions. Uh, the reason why I'm here is because of the Lake Placid emergency room. I've been reading about that. So, so this, this is, is just for the electric rate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. Does anyone online have a comment they'd like to make? Hi, this is this is Laura. Uh, I oh maybe. We can hear you. Yeah. Please go okay, ahead. great. Uh, hi. Um, hi. I stopped by the <laughs> village hall today and, and um, I thought that Mindy's um, explanation of the rate um, increase and how it will be implemented was really helpful. Um, one thing that uh, I thought was true and she confirmed that I think it would be, would be nice if um, people understood that we're all in this together in the sense that the more electricity we use as a community, the um, more impacted our rates would be. It's not just how much you as an individual use. I don't know, I'm not explaining that very well, but <laughs> she did a great job of it. Um, so anyway, I just um, think that the, the rate increases are terrific. Um, in terms of what they're going to be, the increase will be used for, but I wish that people had a better sense of um, how it how it works all together. And I am also a dark skies advocate, so um, any any sort of progress we can make on that front, I think, would be uh, terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my name is Marty Schubert. I live in the town of North Elba. My wife and I feel that the electric department does a tremendous job. And if Kimball thinks he needs a little increase, then we're all for it. And that's that's what we have to say. Good job, Kimball. <laughs> Marty. Oh. Marty, you're going to notice we have a the small increase in the uh, base rate for the uh, uh, decrease in the PPAC moving forward. Okay. 
Anyone else online? I have to say, two positives. <laughs> Public hearing. Dealers are on Facebook. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm on Amber. No, I haven't either. <laughs> So I guess we can keep this open until right for uh -huh. four meeting. Uh -huh. As well. Uh -huh. Anybody else? What do you know about the hospital? Uh -huh. I New CEO. Yeah, new CEO. So what's the prognosis? Um, so actually, um, they're not allowed. That's what I heard. I couldn't okay. remember where I heard that. Yeah. So that's. Is it a done deal? There's no appealing it. I'm not sure where they're at with the process, but that's the okay. So so maybe that's it why it hasn't been, been in the papers yet. Okay. I know I heard it. Make a record meeting, Peter. Hmm? Make a record meeting. Uh, <laughs> That's all Starting from five o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> I missed the opportunity. <laughs> That's right. No, no, no. It's all good. <laughs> See it happen.
Robert, do you have a um, comment on the new proposed electric rates?
Five o'clock. Okay. Five o'clock, so we'll end the public hearing on the proposed electric rates. So now we'll get into the regular meeting. We have a motion to approve the regular board minutes, February 6th. Actually, I did not finish. So we will need to move to the next. I can need to move to the next meeting. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. okay, I guess we'll open our regular board meeting. Okay. Well, motion, motion, motion to open the board meeting. I'll make a motion. Okay. I, <laughs> I don't actually think we need to, but that's okay. Okay, okay. there's three of us, so we all have to say hi. Yeah. Okay, now, regular board meetings, um, February 6th, 2023. Um, have a motion? Table. Table it. Table it? Because yep. you don't have any. Right, right. I'll make the motion to table Thank okay. you. I'll second. Now, can I have a motion to accept uh, proposed electric rates as recommended by our treasurer? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Can I have a motion to agree to the agreement of maintenance of county roads? I'll make the motion. I'll second. I'll third. Okay. All, all in favor? Aye. Can we have a motion to agree for the county to use the Beach House Ackerman room for early voting? It's uh, June, right? Yep, both in June and in uh, late October, early November. Okay. For both early voting periods. Do the motion? I'll make the motion. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. But just, Aye. did we agree? Is the sports council using what? What is happening? I can't remember. So it's Scottsdale. They have a lease agreement with us. Um, I don't remember if it's until April or through April. But they're largely done with the space. And the Ackerman room really reverted back to us once. Right. The, you know, so that building and we were who was the lawyer that became the county? Allison. Um, Allison. She is now going to become our neighbor on the second floor. Apparently, uh, for whatever reason, the county wouldn't pay. No. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the room that the uh, mediation guy yes. used to use about once a year. Yep. Um, the town apparently asked him to leave to make out room for Allison, so she will be um, joining us on the second floor. Mm -hmm. So for the moment, I mean, it'll be something for further discussion, but uh, after April, the larger part of the beach house will once again be empty, so if there's anything. Okay, we have a motion to accept the police department's recommendation for our... Oh, did we do the... I know you... you yeah. Did both. Yes, we yes, did second. vote. We yeah, did. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Just making sure. Part-time hire. You know the gentleman's name? Uh, Matthew Ross. Matthew Ross. I'll make a motion. One second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We need an approval for appointment of inspectors for the upcoming village election. I'll make the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we get a motion for our elected department to Travel to Syracuse for an engineering workshop, March 9th to the 10th, with all the normal expenses. I'll make the motion. I'll second. In favor? Aye. Aye. And who is this? This is also seat? electric. This is for Zach Ford. So, Zach Ford, that's right, Kimball was telling me. Yeah. To approve his CDL training in Plattsburgh, New York. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I will approve rescinding the name of a private road. Do you need to mention the private road? Uh, it is rescinding the Miller's Way name because it was not done through proper procedure with the county. Okay, then uh, is it still there or has highway removed it? Or it is still there. It? Technically, I believe the town put the sign up. The town has to agree to this too, but this is a village resolution too. Okay, so our, our part is done. Yeah. Um, so, um, all in favor? Yeah, all in favor. Who's going to make the motion? I'll make the motion. 
Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Did you have a question about that, Jackie? No. no. You did for a moment. So. No. Okay. Now for treasure items. Actually, one other thing one came one. up that I know Peter saw. I don't know if each of you saw the email. Um, there's an I Love New York commercial shoot happening this Friday. Bruce reached out to me because there were like three spots, and it's three very specific spots in the MBT parking lot. They only need them for 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., but as we all know, unless they lock them off in the morning, they're not going to get them. Lower or upper? I think lower the way they explained it. I think it's the ones like right up against the Starbucks building, like the one they said parallel to Main Street. So I think there's exactly three spots there. And that one restaurant's back door comes mm -hmm. out there. Um, In front of the restaurant? Yes. yes. Yeah. They just want to park their cars. It's not, they're not, okay. they're not shooting there. <laughs> they just want to park their cars there. Um, so the question is, is that okay? And do we charge them, which uh, technically at the going rate would, if we did it for 12 hours, um, then it would be $72 total for the three spots. But, do they need those spots specifically or do they just need some spots in the they general want area? Them specifically. I don't know about need, but that's yeah. that's what they were probably this, they've got camera equipment yeah, and yeah, they don't right. want to plug in. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. I mean it's I just smart people. Yeah, I think, yes. I mean yes, I don't think it's a yeah, I mean I think I don't yeah. I think it's a good return on investment yeah. from that yeah. perspective. Yeah. So I think okay. Yeah, sure. It would be yes. What about the charging part? Just because I know sometimes Main Street is sensitive about those things. But they did point out to me that yes, this is a smart thing. Yeah, yeah. for us. So, it's going to be challenging though. It's a busy weekend. It's it the Pee Wee Association tournament. Yeah, and the end of midwinter break for yeah. everybody else in the state. So. I mean, Brad's guys have to know about it to what? Yeah, yeah, I mean, right. Yeah. I'm fine way. with it. Yeah. We don't need to charge it. No, I'm fine with it. Okay. So. Okay, so is that a, a Jackie and a, a Kate uh, <laughs> first and second? Yeah. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, yeah. that is all. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Do they need any stickers or things? <laughs> I'm sure we'll still provide that. Yeah. And then we have the one. Yeah, let me do this one this time. I will. I should have let you do that. Was quick. That was yeah, she like, happened to be there. I jumped on her. <laughs> oh, I'll make the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We need a pair of bills. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. New business? New business. Is there any new business? This new business? Uh, well, is there any new business? No. Oh, you, well, well, I guess it's old business, but do you want to announce what launched today? The new website launched <laughs> today. <laughs> yes. We still need to, you know, make some yeah. tweaks. Yeah. But Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Um, so if we type in Lake Placid Village website, it's going to be the ones? No, you've got to type in North Elba. North Elba dot village Lake Placid dot NY dot go. And I still okay. don't believe, I, I think we can have two URLs. Yes, it's a challenge, but, and and I will talk right. to Patrick yeah. about Patrick that. Patrick had issues. Yeah. Yes, Patrick yeah. had issues. Yeah. <laughs> we, could, so, we could also ask Scott what his opinion is. Yes, because. There's no reason why we can't do that and have a redirect. Right. So, yeah. Right. Because um, what we had decided in the meeting was that there would be two URLs, right. North Elba dot Lake Placid, Lake Placid dot mm -hmm. North Elba. Mm -hmm. I don't know how North Elba got in there first, but we'll figure that out. But right now, anyone who goes to either old site is right. being directed to the new site. That's right? correct. And importantly, how is it showing up on internet searches? Not yet. Only Not because yet. it just like it will. Yes. Like it just in terms of, you know, kind of the, you know, that's almost more right. important than the URL. Yeah. We, we can right. type in no North Elba Lake Placid. It'll, it'll show up. It'll okay. show up. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Or, I mean, I assume yeah. if you type in Village of Lake Placid, the, it'll go to the old one and be re redirected right. to the new yeah. one. Okay. It's people from out of town that just leave should come first. Yes, yeah. that, that was our that was our argument. Yeah. Absolutely. And even the town agreed. Well, yes, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. 
Got it. No, you're very well taken. Put yourself in the shoes of somebody from your. Oh, family. yeah. No, no, I agree. Yeah. I don't know what North Hope is. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Old business? Correspondence? Yeah, we actually had two pieces of correspondence on the same topic. Uh, both Trisha Preston, um, she wrote us a personal thank you for supporting the MathPath program during FISU. And then the school district uh, did a resolution thanking us along with all the other donors for the MathPath program. So we should thank them for the MathPath. That, that was yeah, amazing. Yeah, amazing. it was great for the kids. Yeah. Whoever thought of that. It was... My daughter loved it. Yeah. And it's so much for them to do. It was awesome. It was and you got swag. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you know, I bought her swag. Got <laughs> uh, that's the only correspondence. Okay. Anything else? We have to move an audience here. Good. All right. So, yeah, like I was saying, my name is Scott Miller Lewis, head of the National Sports Academy. The reason why I'm here is because of reading about the closure of the weight class in the emergency room. Um, just a quick background, don't want to bore anybody with it, but actually, you know, there were some interesting things here. It is, first off, I fell off a ladder in 2012, which required surgery in my arm. The screws and plates were put in on both sides. Um, in 2015, I was involved in a hit and run accident. I was in a one of a golf cart pedicab in Austin, Texas, where my head hit the windshield and I was concussed and probably inches away from a broken neck. Um, I'm not ashamed to admit after these incidences, I developed an alcohol abuse problem and it was something I had to address, which later in Austin, Texas in 2019, I ended up being arrested for driving while intoxicated on the television show Live PD. Live PD, it's, the show isn't live. Um, I'm in a civil battle with Williamson County, Texas, about what they did there. Um, so what they do is they take edited and manipulate the film, sometimes day, hours, days, weeks before, and then they make it into a television show. There's a man, Javier Hambler, who's hazed to death two months after my arrest, which the sheriff and uh, his lawyer covered the whole thing up. I'm set to go to trial for my constitution violations in the matter in January 2024. So the reason why I bring these three things up is I care about one, access to health care. Two, access to mental health, uh, treating mental health. And three, just pointing out the fact that I don't have any issues battling the people in power. And, uh, and, and it was, one of our founding fathers, Patrick Henry, who said it best in his Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech in 1775, he says, For my part, whatever anguish of spirit it may cost, I'm willing to know the whole truth, to know the worst, and to provide for it. So that brings me to the preamble of the Constitution, as we all know, we the people of the United States, in order to put a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. That preamble is so important to me because I do always think about provide for the general welfare. And so when I read about what, what's happening here and where they're taking away the emergency room, at a village where the Olympics were hosted twice. We put millions of dollars of renovation into our facilities here. The emergency rooms right across the street from the United States Olympic Training Center. White Face Mountain is right down the road. And, and the CEO there is saying, if there is, I'll get the exact quote, quote from he says, major traumas and other actual emergency patients are typically transported the 11 miles to Adirondack Medical Center in Saranac Lake anyway. If that doesn't outrage any resident of the village, there's a major problem. Because it's to provide for the general welfare, not to provide 
whoever has the deepest pockets in town are getting what they want. It makes absolutely no sense for this to be happening. And so when, and when our mayor says we live in a community that needs good health care, we also have a lot of tourists and we also have a lot of sporting events, and all three depend on that health care. So we're going to have to do the best we can to make it for, work for everybody. No, we need to make the emergency room work for the residents of Lake Placid, period. And we have to do whatever we need to do to make sure that happens. Otherwise, we are sacrificing promoting the general welfare. It makes absolutely no sense. So the reason why I'm here again is I know that reading through this, there's been some transparency issues with getting to the facts. But what I also know from being here for about a year plus now is there seems to be a culture of gaslighting. So getting to those facts and getting to that transparency is difficult. So we need to know as residents what really is going on with this and to get the answers from Adirondack Medical Center uh, before it's too late, because this can't happen. Because I'm saying if this happens, I mean, how are you guys going to look your constituents in the face and say that you care about their well-being? Honestly. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And thank you for the opportunity to present it. With the hand, it's been one of the first hands. Yeah. So, so we're going to discuss anything with us? Yeah. 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 No, we're just going to raise a few of the resolutions. Yeah, we're happy. Great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we waiting? We're almost done in the year. We're free to go. We do want to motion to. Oh, that's right. Anyone online have any questions or comments? Lauren? Oh, yeah, she was before. She, she was. was. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Can I have a motion to which close the meeting? Okay. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good job, Peter. Yes.